So at the 18, and then you're uh, 2002 U.S. Army All-American, USA Today Offensive High School Player of the Year. And it was like uh, you were a household name now in Ohio yes. now. And then you have LeBron James and the other household name. Yes. Right? 30, 40 minutes away. 30, 40 minutes away. So did you and LeBron in high school, did you know, meet LeBron? Yeah, so I forget what year it was, sophomore, junior, senior. They all blur at some time. Uh, but he had, this, this will happen, he had come out to, uh, he was getting ready to play a game. And at that time, he would sell out his high school stadium. So they would look for local college venues to hold uh, the high school game. Right. And so the first time I met him, uh, they were playing at a school called uh, George Junior Republic. And they were playing at Youngstown State. So it was a big deal that this kid from 30 or 40 minutes away was coming down to our hometown and, and, and doing what they do. So when I come to the game, uh, I first, and this is just like, show you how crazy the world is, I sat down on the bench and I had no clue who his mother was at the time. Right. And so I'm seeing her go crazy during the game. Yeah, and, she's very yeah, anxious, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> So I was seeing her going crazy during the game and I forget who walked up to me. I don't know if it was Mav at this time or somebody, but for whatever reason, it was like, yo, you know, that's his mother. And at that point, uh, just sat and talked to them all throughout the whole game. And then after the game, I went to go meet him. So like, that's initially how uh, the relationship started. And so then the relationship just kind of grew from there. You know, right. even Ohio, y'all 30 or 40 minutes away, kept in contact, kept in right. touch, and just things that developed from there. But that's that's that was the start, the start of, of it. it. And I don't, I don't remember what year that was, but I, I know they were playing at Youngstown State Stadium. Okay. And then they uh, they, they, they played George Jr., and uh, that's how the relationship started. What's kind of crazy is that you were bigger than LeBron in Ohio. Yeah, at that, at that time. Yeah, so like, so in, in the context of talking about LeBron, like you just have to talk about, you have to understand what Ohio is. Ohio's a football state. And so we don't have anybody, you know, you, you had uh, Eric Snow who came out of Cat, and uh, you could probably pick a handful of people who've come from Ohio and the whole state, right. you know, uh, who, who have uh, done super very well. Like, you know, we're talking about LeBron now. He's a global phenom, you right. know what I'm saying? But at the time, this is just like guys with a bunch of potential, you know what I'm saying? So when you get football, you get 15, 20, 25,000 people who come to a stadium. Right. And at this time, he was rocking and rolling and doing his thing. Um, and, and just with, with all due respect, you know, saying, but we're a football state. But he's changed that whole narrative from, you know, all, his, all of his accomplishments now. Right, right. And so before uh, you went to Ohio State, you were looking at other colleges. Yes. What made you go to Ohio State? It was the Coach Trussell? Yeah, it was Coach Trussell. I was going to go to Notre Dame. Uh, and, and so I remember I told you I didn't think I was going to go to the NFL. I didn't think that was a possibility. Uh, so I was like, man, if I go get an education from Notre Dame that, you know, somehow this Notre Dame education will help me to take care of myself for my life, right? And so uh, Coach Trussell became the coach, you know, and uh, even Ohio State never offered me a scholarship, right? So when he became the coach, he was already a, um, a phenom to Youngstown people because he had won so many national championships at our local university. And so I called him up and was like, yo, I'm coming to Ohio State. And so I go out and play my senior year. And midway through the year, he was like, yo, you know, you still coming down here right. because you rocking and rolling and you may go ahead and choose somebody yeah, else. Yeah, too, right? <laughs> yeah, offers to go everywhere. Yeah. And uh, and from there, I went down to Ohio State and uh, I was the first guy to start the whole graduating early trend. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to forego the second half of my senior year. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and rock and roll and uh, so uh, early. graduate early. And then that's how it happened. Wow. Well, you got an uh, offer from Miami. So I yes. see that. I remember you played Miami. Yes. And did they have any hard feel like hush feelings for you after you turned them down on the offer down? No, so so Miami came in late, and by the time they came, by the time they had come in, I was pretty much set on what I was doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so just in today's consideration, you know, this is the era of Miami where you have you, you can go to Florida and pick everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. why do we need this guy from Ohio? Yeah. And so it probably wasn't any disrespect to me. It just was like you know. This is the mecca of football. You turn Miami down. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the hurricanes were like you know everything. Right. Yeah. In in, in, in that era, and so it was uh it, it was all love and it was all cool. Uh, Art Kehoe, he was the guy who was recruiting me, but uh, I didn't get a chance to go. 